Hey YouTube, Droid Review here. All right, here it is. We're gonna be uh, overclocking our phone in this video using a custom ROM. The ROM that we're gonna be using right now, uh, I just downloaded tonight. It's uh, Smoke Glass version 4.5 from Adam, a uh, great developer by the way. Um, I haven't used this ROM yet, so please bear with me. It could be completely buggy and totally crash on us. I'm hoping that it won't, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so uh, let's get right into it. Just make sure that we are rooted we do have a proper Nandroid backup, and uh, we have the latest recovery uh, for our uh, SP recovery tool. Um, so let's go ahead and, and uh, plug in our USB cable, our trusty USB cable, right here into the side of the phone. And let's go ahead and mount our USB. We're good to go there. Whoops. Okay. Um, now, just remember the uh, file is going to be located in the show notes for the uh, 4.5 Smoke Glass ROM. Uh, please check the video description and download the file to your desktop. We're going to go and see what's cracking on my computer right now. All right, so this is what we have right here. We have um, our Nandroid folder here, and we just have my basic uh, stock backup right there from February 12th. I like to keep it that way because this one is basically the stock as I get. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is take our smoke glass that we downloaded to our desktop. We're going to double click on it. We're going to extract it to the desktop. So let's just click extract. Um, it's going to extract it to the desktop. Once it's done extracting, you're going to go and go into your Nandroid folder here. You're going to drag the smoke glass um, ROM that you just extracted to your desktop onto the Nandroid folder. <clears throat> it's going to copy right over. Once again, you can leave it that named that file or you can rename it. If you do rename it, make sure that you um, apply no spaces whatsoever because you will get an error. Okay. Uh, once this is done um, uh, copying over, all we have to do is reboot and recovery mood. So basically I will catch you guys back in recovery mood. See you in a minute. Okay, YouTube, we're back in recovery mode. I kept saying mood there. I don't know why, but... Okay, so recovery mode, here we are. Let's go ahead and do the um, the uh, basic stuff we need to do before installing any ROM. Let's go ahead and wipe the cache partition by scrolling down, clicking the button here. So it's going to go ahead and do that real quick. Pretty easy. That one's done. Let's scroll up one and wipe data factory reset. So let's go ahead and enter that one. Remember, we're using the uh, volume keys to scroll down here and the camera button to push enter. So let's go ahead and push enter. It's going to go ahead and format the data and set the factory defaults. Remember this is going to delete your contacts and applications so please be aware. Make sure you have everything backed up via the Google Cloud. Once this is done we're going to go into the backup restore option and remember this is going to be an advanced uh, this is going to be a Nandroid restore because we put that smoked glass ROM into the Nandroid folder. So we're going to go to the Advanced Nandroid Restore. We're going to click on Choose Backup, which is the top option. There's my stock one on top, obviously you see it. And then on the bottom there, Smoke Glass version 4.5, exactly the same way we copied it. So let's go ahead and select that by pushing the gold button right here. Push it. Okay, these options, do not touch them. Keep them the same, okay? Do not add any asterisks to any of these. Let's just click on Perform Restore. Once I click on Perform Restore. Um, it's going to install everything, so I'll see you guys back when I uh, when the phone's back booted up. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, YouTube, we're back here. Uh, just loaded the new ROM. So far, so good. I just got done signing into my Gmail account. It booted up. Obviously, you can see I'm syncing there, and it's downloading some sort of application here, and I it's already syncing up my uh, my Gmail and all my contacts. Um, all right, so let's get right into it. First things first, we need to download an application. Um, I already have it in my downloads folder here, I'm pretty sure. It's called Set CPU for Root Users. Uh, it's right here up top. It is 99 cents, so please purchase it. You're going to need it in order to do this. So let's go ahead and install that. While that's installing, just so you guys know, um, this is the, the smoke drum, so we have five screens. Um, this is the main one, obviously. Uh, 4.5. So it's done. All right. So let's go ahead and run the program. Set CPU. 
All right, first things first, this is the most important screen, guys. Uh, when you first open up Set CPU, it's going to tell you to choose your phone. Do not click on the Motorola Droid, wherever it is right here. Do not click that. Click on Auto Detect right here. Once it auto detects your phone, it's going to kind of um, blur out a little bit there. It's going to bring up this menu. It's going to say, would you like to write to you know the uh, system file as root? You always want to check on remember and allow. Once you click allow, it's basically going to sit here and force close on you. So don't be afraid. Uh, I don't want to see all these questions. Oh my god, my phone is force closing, yada yada. It's always going to do this the first time you load. Just click on back or home or something to, to, get the, to get the actual application to force close. And once it does force close, um, you can go right back into the application. See, it just force closed on me. So force close, uh, go right back into the application, right back into set CPU, Whoops. and it's going to open up and voila, you're good to go. So right now you have a little slider bar here. Um, you can change it to whatever um, megahertz you want. I usually run around 900, which is pretty good. Click on refresh. Right now your phone's running at 900 megahertz. It's that simple, guys. It's not hard to do. Cool thing about this program, you can have little profiles. What I like to keep them, I like to keep the profiles on. I like to keep the uh, sleep and standby and charging enabled. Make sure you modify them. Charging, you know, might as well since it's charging. I never use my phone when it's charging anyways. I keep it at 550, set frequency. Uh, when it's sleeping, same thing. Keep it at 550. There's no point at running at 1200 megahertz, right? If it's in sleep mode because you're not even using it. Click on set frequency. Um, the rest of them I don't really use. Fail safe and power. I just make sure it's, those are selected. Click back. Uh, and now you're running at 900 megahertz. What's one cool thing about this program is it does have a widget. So if you go into widgets under set CPU, it's going to bring up the widget and tell you exactly what you're running. And if you click on it, it brings up the program. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is how essentially how to overclock your phone. Um, I've been running at 1.2 gigahertz before, and you're good to go. Uh, I recommend downloading a program called um, Temp Monitor. It's 90, I think it's like a dollar. Um, it keeps an eye on your battery, uh, so just keep an eye on it, and thanks for watching. Um, I'm running usually at 900 megahertz stable, so don't be afraid to overclock your phone. Um, thank you again for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you comment, and if anyone out there knows the answer to any of these questions, feel free to post them up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. See you guys.